good. Local Goodwill, guys, $9.99 into $465. Check it out. Wow. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. I put this up in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not a member, definitely go and join. And I asked members to share their best December bolo. Um, this is now also going to include my members of my YouTube channel, the members that have joined for perks, which means they get to be featured in a video. And I'm going to shout out either their YouTube channel or their eBay store. So you will see and hear those. And I will also link them down in the description of the video. Um, it is not required to share a bolo to be a member. So everyone is welcome to share. If um, you want to join memberships, there's a link down below. No pressure, not needed. It's just if you're looking to grow your YouTube channel or get eyes on your eBay store. So in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And these are items that as resellers, we need to be looking for. I'm like, every time I do these videos, I'm like, I need to find that. I need more of these bolos in my life. You know what I'm saying? All right, so the first one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Cat Feeling Thrifty. And this is her eBay store. And I think there's a YouTube channel coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But she got this antique wet tabletop grindstone wheel blade sharpener or sharpen grinder mill. No clue what this is, but this is what it looks like. She got this at an estate sale. She paid $28 for it and sold it for $107 on best offer. And she said, I love what I do. And I cannot agree with her. Like 100% I agree with her. I could not agree with her more. I love my job. If you love your job, comment below. I love my job. All right. The next one um, is this vintage women's compact with piano keys inside never used very cool purchased it in a state sale for three dollars and sold for full list price of forty dollars plus shipping now that is something i have never seen i would love to like see the inner photos of like is there a mirror in there pretty cool right all right we got a plushie got this from the goodwill for one dollar uh which is rare to find anything cheap at the goodwill nowadays which i'd have to agree Sold for $45, and I had it listed for a couple of months at $55. It had its tags. I would have waited it out. Charlie Bear is a bolo if you look that brand up. So this is not a brand I've ever heard of. Charlie Bears. Winter Soft Gray Plush Retired Bear. And this is what it looks like. Charlie Bear. Hmm. He's cute. Did not know. I would not have looked at that and thought it was a bolo. All right, here we go. Most people know about Thomas toys being sought after. I had no idea what I was doing, but when I found these at a yard sale for 10 cents each, I had to try. I did not look up each train for value, but just looked up, looked at sold comps for lots. They just sold on eBay after being listed for less than a month for $47.95, and she paid a total of $3. So what I will tell you is a lot of times I will part these trains out. Um, some of them have lights and sound. Those you definitely want to either do individually or put in small lots. Um, some of the trains are more rare than others. Uh, I would say look them up. It's probably worth your time, but you can always lot them if you're just trying to move them quickly. They are a good seller. So this is what they look like. They're like magnetic. They connect together and there's different brands. Some are wood, some are um, die cast, some are plastic. So do your homework and definitely research. So $3 into $47.95 on that. Found this at my local Goodwill, paid $9.99 and sold it for full asking price of $465 on Facebook Marketplace. It is a Rika Awami. I don't know if I said that right. 1983 limited edition woodblock Japanese signed framed 72 out of 100 local Goodwill guys 9.99 into 465. Check it out. 
Here's another one that she found. Purchased at the local Goodwill for $2.99. Sold for full asking price on eBay for $40. This is the Jim Shore Heartwood Creek Christmas Ornament Set Shepherd Donkey Lamb Nativity. There you have it. Jim Shore, number one, is an awesome brand. Definitely look up anything Jim Shore. And um, it's nativity themed. Anything nativity themed, always look it up. Those items sell really well. I paid $75 for this Lisa Larson Polar Bear. So that must be a good brand because it sold, found it at an auction website, sold it for $475. Polar Bear Lisa Larson, Gustavsberg, Large Zoo, Sweden, 1958-1970, vintage MCM mid-century modern. This is what it looks like. Wow, wow, wow. Lisa Larson. Remember that name. I don't know if they're all bolos, but um, try to keep that in the back of your mind if you see it. 1925 Rockwood Pottery Bowl. Bought at the Goodwill for $4.99. Sold within two days of e on eBay for a best offer of $175. It's a Rockwood Pottery Bowl, 1925, designed by Sarah Sachs. And this is what it looks like. Next one comes from Tamarantula's Treasures and on eBay, and she is a Bolo Buddies member. This is what her uh, eBay store looks like. Found this one, actually found two. One was auctioned in October, sold for $305. She found them at the bins on the same day, so maybe $5 for both. They're 1967 Ideal Giggles Flirty Eyes African American Doll. She giggles and her eyes move back and forth when you clap her hands together. So yeah, she's naked. <laughs> um, but she still sold. What'd she say she sold for? 305. I don't know if the second one sold or not. Purchased at the Goodwill for 20. A complete set of Fosgroff, I think I said that right. Winterberry 12 Days of Christmas plates. Like new and original boxes. Sold in less than a week for $149.99 plus shipping. And I believe she is you a gift. This was also purchased from Donna Telebottolino's um, selling event that she had. And this was from Laura, Lola's Trunk Treasures. And I will also link her down below in the description. She's also a Bolo Buddies YouTube member. This is my gift. Oh, I love it. It's an owl. It's so cool. Look at it. Oh, it looks like it says something. Oh, I think it's, is that, hold on, let me zoom in here. Is that Crown Trafari? Ooh, thank you so much. It's beautiful. Bolo Buddies member, Flippin' Hot Finds. Uh, started the month out great with a $6 local thrift store purchase that sold in a few days on Mercari for $152 plus shipping. City of David, Menorah. This is a great story about knowing your item has value and not going with the one and only comp out there when some seller sold the same item a year ago for $15. Thanks, Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, for your awesome help. Okay, so Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, is kind of like me. We both price our items on the higher end of things and, um, you know, we're patient. We're patient resellers. And you have to check like Worth Point and Terapeak and different different places. I know Noelle goes to Google a lot. I don't search Google unless I'm using Google Lens and it takes me to a website, but um, I'm more of a Worth Point. So uh, I love Worth Point. If you're not using it, I highly recommend it. It is kind of pricey. So make sure that you're in need of it because it's not for everyone. But if you are interested in Worth Point, I do have a referral link down below and I do have videos on how I prove that it's worth it because to me it's like, is it going to pay for itself? And I have sold so many items for more money because I couldn't find it on eBay and I found it on WorthPoint and I knew the true value. So um, to me, it is worth it. So this is a David Menorah Cast Creations Mod 1996 Limited of 5,000, good use condition, and this is what it looks like. 
found this at the Goodwill for $3.99, sold for full asking of $165 on eBay. It sold quickly too. Thanks to Courtney for inspiring me to look at toys. Yay! <laughs> so many people are like looking at toys. This is a Baby Alive Real As Can Be Baby Doll Interactive Soft Face sold for $165. It's so funny that um, I'm seeing this right now because I was at the Goodwill Benz outlet and I ran into Dad Planet and he was actually, um, there was a whole bunch of these Baby Alives and he's like, you know, the ones with the soft faces, you know, they go for a lot. And I'm like, no, I've never heard of that. And like, I do toys. He doesn't really do toys. Like I'm the toy person, but apparently now I know what it looks like right here. So this is what he was talking about. If you're not following dad planet, he's a bolo finder, go and sub up his channel. I will link it down below. Paid $5 at a garage sale, listed for parts or repairs, and sold for full asking price after a couple of weeks. Bose Wave Music System Multi-CD Player Radio with remote. There it is. Anything Bose, look it up. Bought this uh, vintage soccer windbreaker at a thrift store for around $6. Sold during World Cup a few weeks later. My eBay store is Impressions Created. And it sold for, it looks like $89.99. And this is what it looks like. Additional item, paid pennies in an online auction for a cookbook cleanout. Sold a James Beard signed copy of Bread on Butter for 71 plus shipping, all in $83.42. Check it out. Same eBay store. So it's a Bread on Butter cookbook and it's signed. You just never know, you guys. And she's got one more here for us. This was purchased this first edition Bill Campbell Studio Pottery at the Springfield Extravaganza Antique Show this summer. He is a famous potter from PA who retired last year. I can usually spot his unique crystalline and drip glaze on online auctions. I usually get it inexpensively because his signature is hard to read. Note the double rings around his signature. I paid up for this particular vase at $60 and took a best offer just after Christmas because I needed money for $300, all in $352. Um, I wish that I could see the actual um, signature, but I can't. So I'm going to pop up the screen share. It's pretty small and kind of hard to see. Sorry, guys. But this is a first edition piece. And it says, found this North Face vest as a curve alert, sold in less than an hour of listing for $145, free for me. So a curb alert. I mean, who puts a North Face jacket like this on the curb? Seriously, it's goose down puffer jacket. Incredible. I bought this item at an antique boutique for seven. I sold it for 60 and the buyer paid shipping. This one comes from Thrifty Tiffy 2. It's an Alfred Meekin Platter Medway, Medway Blue Floral Transfer Wear Pottery England Vintage. And this is what it looks like. Found this at, and this is the same person. Found this at my local thrift store and paid $3. I sold it for full asking price of $43 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a vintage country living farmhouse oil painting on canvas, signed and framed. Tell me, do you guys pick up framed art? And if you do, have you had good luck with it? My husband, like, he buys it and he keeps it. <laughs> and he finds the most incredible art. Um, some of this stuff is so old and he like has in his office, he will rotate them, but um, he usually doesn't sell them. He keeps them. But let me know in the comments if you guys do well with art. Paid $25 at a flea market, sold for full asking price the following day it was listed. This is a Carhartt women's full swing Kreider bib overall. $147 for that. Wow. And it's a 12 to 14 large short. So it's even short, like that would, I think, be harder to find because you're a smaller market maybe, but it's probably also a harder to find item. So who knows? This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Ohio Treasure Hunters. I got this out of the Goodwill bins, paid a dollar for it, sold it on eBay in around a month for full asking price of $79.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $97.39. 
and it says it's vintage 1991 Mon Image Magic Focus Big Eyes 4X Magnifying Makeup Mirror Gooseneck. There you go. This one comes from PNW Flips, also a Bolo Buddies member. $10 at a yard sale for a whole set, and they sold for asking price. It is a Vera Bradley Spring 2007 Pink Elephant Print Tote Bag Coin Purse Headband Lot. Sold for $114.99. Bought this at a yard sale and a lot of 80s action figures, around 160 total figures for $130. This one sold for $100 best offer. I listed for $125 and it sold within two hours. I've sold $360 in one week from this lot. Still have $150 listed. This one is the Vintage Silverhawk Still Heart action figure with Razor Kenner 1986, and that one sold for 100 bucks. Some vintage war games, strategy games can be bolos. Bought an entire box of these magazines, 90 plus issues for around, oh, and around 50 pounds for $50 at an estate sale. Knew nothing about their value, but saw almost none of the games were played. Tokens unpunched and stored in original shipping envelopes and figured there was money to be made. I listed this lot of 10 at 250 or best offer and took an offer of 175 shipping, which is probably lower than I might have got if I waited a bit. Have another 80 or so issues listed or to list. So they're magazines. Wow. Vintage 1970s SPI Strategy and Tactics magazine lot. Issue 31 through 40 unpunched games. $175. That is incredible. Pioneer Woman Rolling Pin. Pioneer Women. Pioneer Women uh, is definitely a Bolo brand. If you see it, look it up. Bought it in a state sale for $2.50. Took a best offer of $150 with free shipping. Could have maybe gotten a little more, but I'm happy with a quick flip and made over $100 in just a few hours of being listed on Mercari. Right there it is. It's a rolling pin. If you're not selling on Mercari, I highly recommend it. If you're not buying on Mercari, oh my goodness, I love, love, love buying on Mercari. I do have a referral link down below. If you use that, you can get $10 to shop on Mercari. And if you sell on Mercari and you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get another $20 to shop. And then they do like promo offers where if you list so many items, you get a coupon. And one thing that I love about Mercari is shopping. Like if I look for it on eBay, I feel like I have to look through so much and I feel like the prices are really competitive on Mercari and I usually end up buying on Mercari. I know that's awful. I buy on eBay a lot too and Poshmark occasionally. I buy on the platforms I sell on. So um, there is something to be said about cross posting and I tell you guys that all the time. Like if you cross post, you're going to get different eyes on your items because I sell on all three platforms, so I source or look for items, personal items, on all three platforms. Somebody who only sells on Mercari, they're probably only shopping on Mercari, and they're using their money from the things they sell to buy. Same with Poshmark. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you want to know how that works, there's a link down below. It actually walks you through in video format of how to cross post with List Perfectly. If you check it out and you like what you see and you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. I highly recommend not having all your eggs in one basket, okay? Um, it took somebody a long time to talk me into just not selling on eBay, and I am so glad I branched out to the other platforms. So um, definitely keep it in mind, but if it's not for you, it's not for you, but watch that video and you may change your mind. I got this for $10 on Facebook Marketplace. I listed it for $99.99 and sold it for full asking price in about a week. Oh my goodness. It is a set of seven flower anthropomorphic face shelf sitters, figurines, floral resin, and they sold for $99.99. And this is what they look like. Um, got junk in our chunk got junk in our trunk. I can't even say it. Rhonda did a video on these and I will pop up the video right here and I will try to remember to link it down below. But if not, just go look for it. Um, 
she does really well with these. So check that out and subscribe to her channel. She is fantastic. She's also a moderator of the Facebook group. So tell her thank you um, because it's a lot. It's a lot. That Facebook group is a lot. Got these at an estate sale for $6 and sold it on auction for $299. It is vintage new old stock Richard Best Futura Tri-Rex box of 12 sealed packs. They're pencils. They're pencils. I'm like, what is this? This is what they look like. So I believe they are vintage new old stock, some sort of fancy pencil that sold for $299. Uh, gotta love that, right? Got these boots at an estate sale for $6 and took a best offer of $130. They are Icon Moon Boots, cream and white, nylon, rare. And this is what they look like. Um, somebody had mentioned that they thought that the word or term moon boots was a trademark violation or a Vero. I can't remember what post it was or if it was this one, but what I will tell you, I think they posted this in the group and then I asked them to share it up here. I don't know for sure. So maybe this is the actual moon boots and somebody is using moon boots in a different way on a different listing and not the appropriate way or I, I don't know but be careful with the word moon boots because I did see somebody mention it but I don't know in what reference so I don't know I guess do your research if you find them I mean these say moon boots on them so I wouldn't think that would be a problem Found this at a local Ambets for $3.50, sold on eBay for full asking price of $205.99. I always dig through the bottom shelves at the thrift store and got lucky. Was only listed for one day. It's a plaid Bucilla Love and Peace Santa Fine Needle Craft Kit, factory sealed, $205.99. Love these kind of bolos. All right, you guys, we're going to do one more here. I paid $8 for this vintage hand-woven wool blanket at the Goodwill. Good wit. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Bought, ah, I paid $8 for this vintage hand-woven wool blanket by the Goodwin Guild. Listed at 5 p.m. and sold it for 80 by 9 a.m. the next day. This is what it looks like. It's like a coverette, coverlet blanket. Sold for 80 bucks. Never heard of it. So be on the lookout. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Go over to the Facebook group and share your bolo. Leave me a comment down below of your favorite emoji. What's your favorite emoji? This is mine. I love this face. Do you ever feel like this? Do you ever feel like this? And then I also love this emoji where I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching.